So today, we're going to be pushing up the ladder with a different deck. The deck that we're going to be using is the Sorceress, the Naga, the Mice Bandit, and the Frost Fox. The Mice Bandit, we finally got it to max level. He should be an amazing hero, paired up with the Sorceress, just to deal that excessive amount of damage. Let's see if we can actually go high up in the ladder with this deck. My name is Tumai, Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alrighty, hopefully this is the you know very good deck to use in the ladder. Hopefully we can go far with this. We do start off with the Naga, which is a horrible start. This person has more trophies than I do, so it would be a pretty good win for us. But he does triple hit or double hit the, the Rocketeer to buff him up a little bit. Uh, We could double hit his Paladin since he is enchanted, honestly. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just do that right there. A double hit. That's almost 2,000 damage to the Paladin. That is great. Uh, Werewolf does go next, thankfully. He will be buffing up the Rocketeer. The Rocketeer is back up, is, is, or, uh, has max rockets. Let's focus on his Paladin here. Paladin is still alive because of the defensive buff. If it wasn't for the defensive buff, he would have died. And now, you know, the Rocketeer going next, this is going to be rough. Especially with all of my heroes, you know, being together like that. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to win here, honestly. Since my heroes are together, we will need to separate them somehow. Let's see if we can push the mice bandit upwards towards the Rocketeer. We do, but sadly, the Naga and the mice bandit are together. That sucks. The Naga will survive. The mice bandit will die. And uh, he will be buffing up the Rocketeer once again here. We did enchant the Werewolf, uh, which is okay. But... Um... This is rough. My a good chance of winning here is to heal up the uh, the Frost Fox here. Let's see if we can also hit the Werewolf by hitting the Rocketeer like this, since the Rocketeer is pretty heavy. Yes, there we go. And we did take out this Paladin right there. The Rocketeer and the Blacksmith took major damage right there. That's great. That is fantastic. However, the Werewolf does go next. He'll he'll take out the Naga here. He'll hit the Sorceress as well. Hopefully, just one hit. Just one hit. That's all I'm asking for. Just one measly hit. And he, okay, he does get the hit, just one hit, and uh, yeah, he only got one hit, and the werewolf is back to normal. Let's see if we can double hit the rocketeer here, and push him towards the fire, bada boom. Oh no, we actually pushed it towards the sorceress, and that actually took him out. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like we are going to win here. And all we gotta do now is just push the sorceress, or... Sorry, the werewolf towards the fire, maybe. And that should take her out, honestly. If we can get a double hit right there. Never mind, we didn't even get a double hit, but we did uh, take out the werewolf regardless. So only the blacksmith is left alive. Um, the blacksmith is kind of healthy-ish. You know, he has 2,700 health. The frost fox only has 18. Hopefully he doesn't take out the sorceress here. He's going for the corner. Interesting choice. He does... He does get a double hit on the Sorceress right there. That's pretty impressive. Let's push the Blacksmith towards the fire. We do get a hit on this with the Sorceress as well. So now the Blacksmith has 1,078. So I think this is becoming a little bit dangerous. Not going to lie. Becoming a little bit dangerous. But if we separate the heroes, we should be fine. So let's do that. We got a double hit. Let's freaking go. We got the double hit for the win right there. Then I expect to win with this deck against his deck, but let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be plus 35 trophies, 36-24. Let's continue on. All right, off to a great start here. Let's see who we're going to face right now. Ooh, um, it's almost like my main deck, except instead of the Paladin, he has Blacksmith. And sadly, I don't think we can even enchant here. We could try to push the Mice Bandit upwards. That might not be the right play, but we're going to try it anyways. We do get one hand of Frost Fox right there with the Mice Bandit there. That's about 800 damage, so I can't complain about that. However, the Mice Bandit might die here because of his low health. And no, we're still alive. We might have to just go for the double hand on the Frost Fox here, honestly. Just, just do it. Just do it. Frost Fox is dead. Don't need to worry about him anymore. Um, we could have left the Frost Fox alone and let him get enchanted, but, um, that's okay. One less zero to worry about if we can take out the Naga right now. We should be finding winning here because the Blacksmith and the Shaman are not attackers, they're enchanters. 
it does get a double hit right there on the mice bandit. Can we push the Frost Fox towards the wall and then hit the Naga and hopefully enchant him or her with the Sorceress? Ah, that's too far away, but we did deal like 1400 damage to the Naga, which is not bad. He'll take out the Mice Bender right now, which sucks, but what can you do? Uh, Sorceress does go next. Um, I mean, let's actually hit the Shaman like this. And hopefully we'll enchant the blacksmith and the naga right there. Yes, we do. And now with both of them enchanted, the frost fox and the naga can do her uh do them stuff. Um, especially with his naga right now. How rude! But we're gonna have to just do this. Deal plenty of damage right there. Bada bing, bada boom. The naga is dead. All right, so only enchanters. We should be finally winning here. We just gotta take out the shaman, and we should be okay. Now, if he enchants the sorceress, then we'll probably focus on the on the blacksmith instead. Um, honestly, yeah, we, we should be able to do this, and uh, hopefully we'll hit the shaman as well. Bada boom, bada boom. Wow, lots of damage, but if it wasn't for the, the attack nerf that the frost fox and the naga has, he would have gotten taken out right there, but he decides to surrender, ladies and gentlemen, for another good win right there. Let's freaking go. 36 63 we need 137 more trophies to get to 3800 grand champions hopefully we can get there in this run let's continue one all right so far so good we're doing great we are doing great very interesting deck that he has uh we do start with the naga which is good because we can push the sorcerers upwards but look at this um he's going to push the assassin downwards no oh uh, yeah he will he will be pushing the assassin downwards, misses the sorceress, but he does manage to get a double hit on the mice bandit there. That sucks, honestly. We'll get a double hit on the assassin here. We'll hit the bar uh, the bummer as well. We will be enchanting both the genie and the assassin, which is good. But he will probably take out the mice bandit right there. Yeah, the mice bandit's dead, sadly. All right, not good, obviously. We we're we're gonna struggle here, honestly. But um. Don't think we can hit the assassin. I would like to push the Naga towards the assassin. This is a very risky play, but we're going to try it anyways. We missed! No freaking way that missed! Are you kidding me, dude? We do double hit the robot, but we completely missed the assassin by an inch. And, of course, it gets a hit off right there. That sucks. And uh, now we will push the Naga towards the assassin, and hopefully the sorceress... Ends up near the bomber and the robot, or one of them, to just enchant. No. No. And the assassin survives. 181 health. Sorceress is going to die. Frostfox might die. Oh no, both of them survive still. Okay, both of them survives. Um... This is rough, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we're going to be able to heal up. Let's just hit the genie. We'll hit the genie right here. There we go. We took out the genie. Uh, we do hit the, ro uh, the robot once. The assassin survives, but that's okay. The assassin doesn't have his ability right now, but all of my heroes are weak, so I don't think we are winning this one. He will be going to the frost fox. Okay, he just manages to take out both of them. All right, so we will need a miracle hit here, and that is impossible. It is impossible to win here, ladies and gentlemen. We just get a double hit or even just one hand on the bomber. I don't think we're going to get two hits right there. Yeah, we don't. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be a loss, sadly. And we're probably going to lose like 36, 37 trophies right there. Unfortunate. We were getting pretty close to the to Grand Champions. And sadly, we're going to have to take a loss right here. Um, rough start or, you know, rough match right there. So we're going to go down like maybe 35 trophies, more or less. 37, yeah, that sucks. Down to 36, 20, uh, 26, but we are still above from where we started in this run. Let's continue on. All right, come on, guys. Uh, pretty unfortunate stuff that we lost the last one right there. Sort uh, Enchantress Jossum, Triant. So let's see if we can, even though taking out the Enchantress would be key, I would like to try to enchant his heroes as quick as possible. So let's see if we can enchant the Warlord. And the Johnson right there. And wow, we actually got all three of them over there. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so he will be going to the Sorceress. Sorceress is dead. 
and he enchants the treant. How freaking rude. Very unfortunate stuff. I don't know if I should go for the Jossum. Actually, let's go for the Jossum and the Warlord here. We'll hit both of these guys. Plus, we'll, we'll, we'll probably get a couple of burns right there. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Definitely the right play, in my opinion. Definitely the right play. Jossum gets the Warlord buff, and of course, he is close to the Frostbox. I don't know if he's close to the Naga. Okay, no, now the Mice Bandit will get hit right there. Oh, no, he doesn't hit the Mice Bandit. Okay. So, we'll hit... Um, we'll just hit both these guys, I guess, with the Mice Bandit right here. Bada boom Bada boom And the, the Warlord gets double hit right there with the fire. That was good. All right, Jossum goes next. Um, he's going for the Mice Bandit. That's okay. No, now he's going for the Naga. What is he trying to do? That's not the... I wouldn't say that was the right play, but... That was not a good play, honestly, in my opinion. With the Treant like this... With the train like this, so that way he can get burnt. We'll take out the Warlord. Oh, wow. We just massacred his Treant right there. So that's a nice little double kill right there. He'll probably enchant the Jossum just to have a fighting chance. Yep. He will be enchanting the Jossum right there. But I don't expect him of winning here. Even though the Mice Bandit will get a bunch of damage right there. Um, we should still be fine here. Let's just focus on the Jossum here. Oh, wow. Never mind. We actually took out the Enchantress by mistake. But that's okay, it's a 3v1, Naga is very healthy, Frost Fox can take a hit or two. Mice Bandit, not really. Mice Bandit will die in one hit. And, wow, he actually got a double kill. Nice double kill, my dude. Very nice little double kill right there. But with the Naga, you know, pretty healthy and dealing double damage to the Jawsome, we will be winning this match, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, we're not going to win too much trophies here. We're probably going to get 22, that's my guess. 22 trophies? No, not even... Not even close, 19. Alright, 36, 45, 155 trophies to get to Grant. Let's continue on. Okie dokie, guys. Um, just trying my best here. Enchantress Jossum combo again. Uh, let's just see if we can enchant some heroes here. We'll push the Sorceress upwards. We do enchant the Jossum, and the Enchantress does take a bunch of damage right there. That's good. He will be enchanting the werewolf, pushing the werewolf or the enchantress out of the way. So well played. Um, let's double hit the frog mystic, and we might hit the the um the Johnson as well. Yep, there you go. And the whoa, I thought we we're gonna enchant the enchantress, but honestly, that was a better play, dealing that much damage. All right, so he enchants everyone right now. My spend it is hanging on for dear life at this point. Um, <laughs> this sucks, ladies and gentlemen. We can probably just push the mice spend it towards the Jossum. Hopefully, we can also hit the Enchantress here. We double hit the Jossum to take him out. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take that any day. Uh, even though the mice spend it is super weak. Nine health. Super weak. Um, we did, uh, yep, yeah, and the mice better died. That's okay. We're gonna have to just try to figure out a way to just massacre his heroes. We don't want to focus on the werewolf, but we might have to. Oh, yeah. He's going to deal like 1300 damage per hit. So hopefully, we can deal lots of hits to him. Like double hit with the Naga, and hopefully, the Frost Fox can get some value here as well. Ah, uh, it wasn't a double hit. We did 2,000 damage to the werewolf, but it wasn't a double hit. So, he will be hitting the Frost Fox to death. Yep, he died. Of course he did. And, uh, let's see if we can... We'll try to take out the Frog Mystic here. With a nice little double hit right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And we will be enchanting the Enchantress. That's good. So, the Enchantress will take extra damage. He'll be focusing on the Sorceress, that's okay. Oh, actually the Sorceress did take a whole bunch of damage, that's not good. How much health does the Werewolf have? 2800. Not enough to take out the Werewolf in two hits. Will this burn? Will this burn the Werewolf and then hopefully we'll hit the Enchanters here? Okay, we do burn the Werewolf twice for 120 damage, so now the Werewolf has 2374. Um, I don't think it's... Actually, it, it should be enough for the double hit. It should be enough for the double hit. 
Oh boy, but he manages to do that. We're gonna have to do this and hopefully we get a double hit with the sorceress here while pushing the werewolf towards the naga. And is that going to be GG's? It is, ladies and gentlemen. We got a beautiful good game right there. A beautiful good win. Let's freaking go. So that's three three wins. Three wins with one loss. 33. Oh, actually four wins and one loss right there. Doing amazing so far here, guys. Alright, so 122 trophies left to go. Let's continue on. Alright, hopefully we can get another win because then, you know, we'll have a win streak going on. So plus 10 trophies is always nice. We do start off with the Mice Bandit, which is actually not too bad. But he's going to enchant the Assassin and get a hit off on the Sorceress right here. So this is going to hurt quite a lot, actually. So this is going to be a bad start for me. Let's see what he's going to do. Hits the Sorceress and the Frost Fox. Okay. So we can heal up the Frost Fox at least, maybe. And hopefully we'll double hit with the Assassin. Or to the Mice Spender right there. Oh, wow. I think the Assassin is dead. Yep, there you go. The Assassin died. So that's one turn one turn death right there. Jaguar will be able to get a double or double damage onto the Frost Fox. Thankfully, the Frost Fox is blocked. So he'll probably take out the Sorceress here instead. Yeah. He's going to focus on the Sorceress here. And thankfully, oh, never mind. He does get a nice little double hit right there. We might have to focus on the Jaguar here. So let's do this. Or should we? No, let's focus on the Jaguar, honestly. Oh, no way. We completely missed that. But look at the Mice Bandit getting value there. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. We enchanted the Jaguar. We completely missed the Jaguar for damage. But we do deal excess, excessive amount of damage to the um, Enchantress and the Frost Fox right there. Or Enchantress and the Frog Mystic right there, I should say. Um, and we'll take out the uh, we'll take out the Enchantress here while doing damage to the Frost um, Jaguar right there, and we should be able to enchant the Frog Mystic right there, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Frost Fox and the Naga are pretty healthy, even though the Jaguar will be able to get a double damage onto the Naga right there. And thankfully, the Naga is still alive. Alright, Jaguar has how much? 2800 health. We could... Actually, yeah, let's just, let's just push it towards the Frost Fox right there. And that is going to be death for the Jaguar. And what we gotta do now is just take out the Frog Mystic that is enchanted with the Sorceress ability. It should be an easy victory. Even if he takes out the Naga, it should be an easy victory regardless. Because we can also heal with the Frost Fox. Alrighty. So we might be able to get a double hit or maybe push him towards a fire. Regardless, we need to deal as much damage as possible here. And sadly, we don't get the double hit, but we do hit him for 1600 damage regardless. He won't be able to, you know, out heal my damage. So that's great. He does manage to take out the Naga right there, but he has how much? 2800 health. We need three hits to take him out, and it should be pretty easy to do so. Let's do that. Bada bing, bada boom. He's still alive, but um, he could heal. He could heal up, but regardless, we have a Frost Fox that can heal up. He is not. He does manage to heal up once, but I think we can take him out in one hit right now. And yes, we can, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get a double hit here. Oh, was that going to be a triple hit? Yes, it is. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be another win. We're going to get a win streak right now. So plus 10 trophies. Uh, we're probably going to get 20. Yeah, 22 plus 30 or plus 10, sorry, for 32 trophies. And we are now at 3710, just 90 more trophies to get to grants. Let's see if we can actually do it. Let's continue on. All righty, guys. We're doing so well with this deck. I didn't expect it to be to do that well. All right, so this is probably one of the strongest decks to face right now. But these, we do start with the Sorceress, which is an amazing start. Let's see if we can enchant, hopefully, two of his heroes somehow. So let's do this right here. And we will enchant the Armadillo and the Jawsome. Yes, let's go. So he'll enchant the Jawsome at least. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. He has, uh, no, he's going to enchant both Jawsome and the uh, Armadillo here. And yep, there you go. Sucks, but it's okay because now we can will deal massive damage to his um armadillo here. If we can get a double hit with the mice and then push it towards the naga. Yes! Armadillo is dead. And we do enchant the enchantress and the, the Johnson was near enough. Wow. 
I didn't expect the Jostlem to be near enough. He'll enchant the Jostlem yet again here. Um, so that's going to be... That might be death for the... Wow, no, the Frost Fox died. Well played. The Frost Fox died. That's actually unfortunate. Um, we just hit both these guys here. Bada boom, bada boom. And the Enchantress is dead. That's good. So that way the frog mix uh, the frog mystic won't won't get enchanted. I would like to try to enchant the the Jossum at least to lower his damage, and of course to for him to take uh, to receive extra damage. But I think the sorceress is going to die here. I think the sorceress is going to die here. And yep, she is. All right, so well played. So we're gonna have to try to take out the Jossum as quick as possible. Since he does have the attack buff. This, this should be pretty good here. That's going to be a lot of damage. A lot of damage. But he is still alive. Okay. This is unfortunate stuff actually. Because it, he'll probably take out the Naga here. And we're going to have to rely on the Mice Spender for the win. Mice Spender is good. It's just... Oh. Mice Spender is good. It's just he has very low health. No, he's going for the Mice Spender. Okay. So if we can take out the Jossum here. If we can take out the Jossum here. And then we can try to win with the mice spended. Should be pretty good. Um, this should hit the Jossum as well. The Jossum will survive. Oh, never mind. He got hit towards the mice spender. That's good. All right. So only the frog mystic is left alive. So sadly, the Naga cannot deal double damage. So we need the frog mystic to stay alive, or the mice spender to stay alive, just so we can deal an excessive amount of damage with two hits. Two hits will be over 2,000 damage. Uh, and he does manage to take out the Naga. This is unfortunate. Okay, we only have 700 health. We need a miracle hit here. Can we get a miracle hit here? Oh! Oh, please tell me that's enough. No way! No way! No way! 121 damage! No way, dude! Please miss. No way, dude! Oh, that's so unfortunate, dude. That was so close. Oh, I'm so mad. I am so mad. We should have won that one, guys. Unfortunate stuff. That's a painful loss right there. Let's continue on. All right, a painful loss in the last one. But hopefully we can turn the tables around here. See if we can do, you know, well here. His Jaguar goes first. Can we push the sorcerers upwards? This is a risky play. And we do, but sadly we don't enchant everyone, uh, anyone. That was an unfortunate start. Since the Naga went, goes next, that's why I was trying to push the sorcerers upwards, but that was a bad play. So the Naga, of course, will be receiving a whole bunch of damage right there. Let's just push the sorcerers upwards once again. And that will enchant the Mice Spender. At least that's good. Um... So push the mice spinner towards the sorceress and the naga. The naga might die here, actually. And uh, the naga is dead. Naga is dead. Well played. And oh wow, the sorceress died too. That is not good. We are going to lose here. There's absolutely no way we're gonna win here. I uh, I don't think so. We can push the frost fox upwards and hopefully double hit the jaguar. We do double hit the jaguar, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty good. But um, like I said, I don't think we are winning here. Yeah, Frost Fox is dead. Frost Fox is dead, ladies and gentlemen. They might spend it alone. It's definitely not winning here. Like, we will need a miracle, just, just miracle shots all around the board with the mice spend it. Let's see if we can double hit the Jaguar here. We don't double hit the Jaguar. That should be death for his mice spend it. Yeah, it is. And we actually do hit the Cultist right there. All right, so thankfully the Cultist doesn't do too much damage except the runes. So hopefully he misses the runes damage. Nope, never mind. He, he got the runes damage right there. Unfortunate stuff. Yeah. I mean, we'll do this. Take out the Jaguar. We might be able to hit the Barbarian just to have a decent chance. No, we don't. We failed. Yeah, that's going to be another, another loss, ladies and gentlemen. That's so unfortunate, dude. The last match was rough, and this one, we just got dem demolished, basically. We basically got demolished right there. Hopefully we can get back up to 3,700 maybe. Just hoping right now because we were doing so well and then we just lost right there. Let's continue on. All right. We just lost twice in a row at least. That's not good obviously. Hopefully we do win. 
he'll probably push the sorceress downwards or push the mice spender for damage. He is going to push the mice spender for damage. Okay. And he will enchant my sorceress. Okay, well played. That's unfortunate. We'll just do this and hopefully we'll enchant at least two of his heroes. Oh, please tell me that's going to be three enchanted right there. Yes. Three heroes are enchanted. Fantas uh, fantastic. Um, okay, my spender just almost died right there. That's unfortunate. But um, the nice sorceress died. That's not good, obviously. We're going to do this and push the my spender towards the sorceress at least. Okay, his sorceress is dead. We don't need to worry about him enchanting my Naga and the Frost Fox. All right. Uh, he can he can one shot the mice spender. What about the Naga? The Naga cannot be one shotted just yet. He will be trying to push the Frost. Oh wow, it's the Naga. The Naga's dead. Wow, wow. Okay, he just de destroyed me right there. Let's go double hit right here. There you go, and another hand up. On the archer right there, so we do heal up a bit, a thousand health. But with the mice spender right there, that he'll probably get. A, yeah, of course he does. Okay, unfortunate stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We were doing so well, and then we're just going back downhill. Like, what is happening here? Can't. We'll play one more. Like, we're basically back to where we started almost. Uh, let's continue on. All right, I mean, we were 90 trophies away, and now we're back down to 200 trophies away from getting to Grant, so obviously not good. We're just getting unlucky here. All right, so he's definitely going to push these, yep, the Shaman downwards to enchant two of my heroes. Well played, and we are in a comfortable position here. We're going to have to just, uh, we sh oh, don't tell me that's not going to double hit the Shaman right there. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think we can double hit the Shaman here. Can we hit the Frost Fox instead then? Can we hit the Frost Fox as well? No, we don't. How rude. Alright. So we do deal dam uh, damage to the Cultists at least. Alright, not too terrible. He is going for the Frost Fox. That is quite a bit of damage, not gonna lie. On the Frost Fox at least. Let's do... What can we do? He's just spamming, so thankfully... um. My camera is blocking the spam. Let's hit the corner here and hit the shaman. And hopefully we will enchant somebody. And we will enchant the armadillo. Okay, that's good. We enchanted the armadillo. That's one hero. But now he's going to place bombs on the mice bandit and the frost fox. Ouch. That hurts. That does hurt a lot, obviously. We will enchant the frost fox up there. Let's do... Um, I guess try to double hit the Shaman here. Hopefully we'll hit the Armadillo. Yes, we do. And the Frost Fox will get enchanted. That's okay. Alright, so his Shaman is almost dead. But, um, my Frost Fox is about to die. My Mice Band is dead. The Naga will take excessive damage right there. This is rough, dude. This is so rough. Alright. Um... This will be a double hit on the Frost Fox here, hopefully. Alright, so that's a double kill, to say the least. That's a nice little double kill. Alrighty. Is he going to... He's going to hit the Sorceress and try to place a bomb on the Naga. And he does manage to get it off. And he gets a double hit on the Sorceress right there. That is absurd how well he did, that, uh, he did right there. All right, so we'll do this. Hopefully this will hit the armadillo and we will enchant. All right, this is a great place to be. However, he can definitely win right now with the runes. Let's see. He might be able to win with the runes right now. Let's see. And nope, he doesn't. Nope, he doesn't, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to win here, ladies and gentlemen. He was spamming for nothing. He was spamming for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. What was all that spam for? You just lost, my dude. Alright, so we got... I I don't remember the count, but we did get a couple of wins there. But we just lost three in a row, so not good. But we are back. We're up 36-24. We just went above like 40 trophies. Not the greatest, but we're going to call it quits right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. 
pretty okay run over wrong. I might use this deck again to try to get to 3800 instead of using my main deck. Like to spicing, uh, you know, spicing up a bit. If you guys have any other recommendations that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for the continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.